What's good, everybody? It is your boy OG Dan. Welcome back to another Bang of Fire video we got on the channel. And today we're doing another indoor video, just like last one. And unfortunately, the reason behind that is because it is raining again. Dude, I don't know what's going on. Because, like, July is supposed to be the hottest, craziest month of the year. But, like, it seems to be the coldest and wettest month of the summer minnesota's doing its bipolar mix-up thing again who knows but anyways today we're going to be taking a look back at the nike rpm backpack right here so in this video i am going to show you guys like everything that i carry in it on a day-to-day -day skate trip and then we're going to go over some of the durability aspects of it and how it's held up over these past 12 months and it's going to be a good time so buckle up grab some popcorn sit back relax chillax and let's get into the video but uh man i gotta find some better lighting because yo this right in the back it is not doing it for me so one one second all right, so I think what my plan is going to be is I'm just going to stand here. There's like a window behind me and it's decent lighting. So, you know, we out here and whatnot. Anyways, let's get right into the backpack. So here it is. And let me just kind of show you guys like what I bring with it on a normal day to day basis. Oh, this lighting's trash too. Okay, this, this, is, this, this is workable. We got this. All right, so this backpack has got like three main pockets in it, right? It's got this little back quick access pocket. It's got a pocket for your laptop or whatever else. And then it's got the big boy main pocket with a couple things inside we'll talk about. But first off, let's go over my quick access pocket here. So this is kind of the pocket where I put everything I just need to quickly grab, hence the name quick access. But yeah, so here I got my sunglasses inside of it. As you know, brand new sunglasses and shades. We out here chilling. Oh, I just said chilling again. Dude, I said that too much last video. I gotta stop. Anyways, then I got this little lanyard wallet thing with some keys on it. Throw that in there. I got my AirPods. You know, you gotta have your music boyos with you at all times. Chapstick. Very important, boys. Get yourself some chapstick. Uh, I got this little lighter. I don't really use it that much, but uh, it's cool. It's like a little fidget thing sometimes. You know, it's, it's there. And then I got this gigantic 20,000 milliamp hour battery pack. And this is like a must. Like I literally charge this thing like once a month. And like I haven't charged this since May. And it's still over 75% full. This thing is, this thing's like a beast bro. But yeah, those are all the quick access things. Now let's go on to the next pocket. This is the laptop compartment. Right now I have nothing in there, but I usually will throw a Frisbee in there if I don't have a laptop in there. The cool thing about this pocket though is that at the very bottom of it, it's got this little mesh thing that's not at the very bottom of the bag, which means that if you put a laptop in the backpack and then you set the backpack down like this, the laptop is not going to hit the ground because it's sitting slightly above that bottom part because of the mesh thing. So really cool little feature. Another cool thing a lot of people don't know about the bag is that on the left side of this laptop pocket, there's a little buy through little loop spot here. So like you could take a power cord and run it from the laptop compartment into the main compartment. So basically for me, I have the battery bank in the quick access. I run the cable into the laptop compartment, slip it through that little hole and then into the main spot where I can charge whatever I want. But uh, yeah, speaking about that main compartment, this is like the meat and the bones of the, the backpack. I don't know if that's a saying, I just kind of said it because it sounded right, but yeah, yeah. But here's the main pocket. So what we got immediately on the flap here as you open it up is this little mesh pocket. Inside of it, I have a tiny mini little tripod here with a little phone mount on it. I also got in here this little wall charger kind of piece here and this thing here is what i use to charge my camera batteries i also have this little box here with a spare action camera battery and then i just have like some you know some pencils and pens and all it looks like that pen is trash it just broke <laughs> but yeah just some simple things that i don't need all the time but i can throw them in there uh moving into the other part of this backpack we have another little velcro opening pocket like that you can throw whatever you want here i fit my ipad pro in here sometimes it's a 10 and a half inch one it fits it just about perfectly but usually what i do is i just leave my slide gloves in there just like this which we currently have i don't use my slide gloves a whole lot but when i do i have them there when i need them sometimes i'll throw a skate tool in there you know it's really whatever i need and then at the bottom we got a little action camera i usually like this action camera i just throw in the bottom of my bag all the time and it's just kind of like a little tank doesn't really get scratched a lot but this is usually in there so if i don't have my big camera with me i can usually use this one most of the time to get shots 
and it works pretty well. And then the last thing I normally carry is this little pack thing I got from my old job. That's why it says food and nutrition on it. But this thing works really well. Inside the big spot, I just got a book that I can pull out and read if I want. In this other spot, I have a skate tool and a pocket knife. And then in this one, I usually will carry band-aids in here in case I fall. Or sometimes I'll put some extra power cords. It just kind of depends on if I feel like it, I guess. But um, that's, that's usually pretty much it. Obviously for school, sometimes I'll throw in the laptop or I'll throw in something else like a notebook or extra pens or something, art supplies if I'm going to a drawing class. But for the most part, that's what I carry. I like to be pretty lightweight with things so I don't have it weighing me down, you know? But that's what we got on those. Now this backpack also has some water bottle pockets with little zippers on them. And in one of them, I have a Tiny Boy battery that I rarely use. I also have a head strap for mounting my action camera. And then in the other one, I actually have this really cool bracelet thing that I threw in here. Looks just like this. And you can actually open the clasp here and it doubles as a charging cable as a bracelet. Now, I don't normally wear the bracelet, but I throw it in my backpack because it's small. And if I don't have a charging cable with me, this boil can save me. But I actually want to show you guys something really cool, so I gotta grab my water bottle because I don't have it with me. Alright, I couldn't find my water bottle, but I found this other one. It'll do the job, but bro, check out this epicness, right? Here we got the bag. What I usually do is I throw the water bottle in, and you see this carabiner S-clip right here? Let me bring that a little closer. See this S-clip right here? I have it attached on one of the loops on the outside of the backpack, and I can literally connect it to the water bottle just like this. So the water bottle's in the pocket carabiner is on the side hooked on the water bottle and it'll never fall out literally the best thing ever because i'm always i don't know why is this just me like i get worried that my water bottle is just gonna fall out all the time in backpacks so this is like literally a lifesaver for me i don't i don't know that's probably just a weird thing by me but it's it's awesome it's it's like the best life hack ever and this backpack does it amazingly let's get on to the main part of the video which is the durability so before we look at the backpack, I wanna stress this right now. I use this backpack 90% of the time when I go out and skate because most of the time I'm going out to skate to film videos and I use the backpack to bring water with me, bring my camera gear, bring all that jazz with me. So it is always on my back. That's number one. Number two is that 60% of the time I fall while riding my longboard. I fall a lot guys, like a lot, a lot. And most of the time I've trained myself to land on my back, which means that the backpack is constantly hitting the ground, getting drug across the cement, the bumpy road or whatever I fall on and absorbing all of that stress and shock. So I am like the perfect person to test out the durability because this thing is literally getting like drug across roads and stuff. So I mean, there's not much else you can really expect from a backpack, right? Now with that out of the way, this is how the Boyo is doing. As you can see, it is, it, it's looking still pretty dang good. Um, I'll get some close-up shots of some wear and tear on here, but there are no holes in the backpack, none at all. There's a couple areas that you can see are definitely roughed up a little bit, but there's there's no breakage. And the surprising part, this very the bottom here, it's kind of like this, it almost feels like a sandpapery kind of canvas. There's almost no damage on it at all. I don't know why, because I feel like I've had backpacks with this before that break, but there's there's nothing on it. It's it's crazy. I'd say that the pockets have the most wear and tear, just because that's probably where they've been hit the most. But there's no holes, no nothing. Obviously, the color's a little faded because I I like destroy it all the time. But the zippers all work fine. None of the zippers have fallen off. They're still really smooth. These straps here for a skateboard, they still have very good hold, very good Velcro hold. Like literally nothing has fallen off of this thing. So overall, I'm gonna give this board like high, high ratings for durability. Like I'm gonna have to go with a 7.75 out of 7.75. Why those numbers? Don't know, didn't ask. So for everybody telling me they want an update on it, like, yo, this thing is the real deal. It's literally gone through hell and back from what I put it through. And there's nothing wrong with it, just some wear and tear. So if you want a backpack that is gonna last you and be durable and be literally like a tank, but also look freaking cool. I mean, I might be biased, and I'm not even like a super big military kind of guy. But this desert camo is the play. I mean, yo, just look at this. It goes with my white so well. Like, come on, bro. Sometimes I throw my skateboard on this when I'm at college. I use this every day when I was up there at the U last semester. I use it probably four out of seven days now in the summer, so it, it is awesome. 
I don't want to drag the video on too much longer, so if you want to know any more details about this bag, you can go watch the original review, which I'm going to link up here for you guys. But that's all. If you like this video, please check out some of my other videos. I make mostly skateboarding and longboarding content three days a week. That ain't three. Three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. You already know. Let's get it. Subscribe to being the OG gang. I'm out. Peace.